Today we'll be previewing 1979 Ford Thunderbird. Almost twice the size of her, I'm going to say baby sister, but the 55 Thunderbird that we have at the moment. This example has 32,000 miles. It is an absolutely fantastic condition. This is the last year of this platform. Three years that Thunderbird had this body style. And this may be the pinnacle of these cars. So this is a very well optioned car. We're going to go over many of those today. So you'll see the color coded body side molding. There's also these cast aluminum 15 inch wheels. But you don't see very many sets of these, at least I have not in the past. Super long lady. So this car has the interior group, the sports group, the exterior group, the, and the protection group. So we'll highlight some of those. So you have remote passenger mirror and driver mirror, and the two piece Landau top, which matches the interior, as well as the pinstriping on the exterior. And we do have one additional center cap for these wheels. So all this car is powered by a 351 Windsor, 152 horsepower. One little nick in the paint right there, wanted to point out. 278 foot-pounds of torque. So, Father Time passed away the 460 and the 400. So, you get a 302 or 351 Windsor or a 351 modified. This being a Windsor equipped car, you can see it has the heated back glass, dual speakers, and the package tray part of the audio group and the iconic Thunderbird logo in the tail lights and then your reverse light here in the middle that illuminates while in reverse rear bumper guards as well it's, we have dual exhaust on this particular model as well as check these out stone flats I think that was the first thing I tore off of my car. But again, this car was equipped with it, so she still retains it. Again, with 32,000 miles, there's see a lot of features of this car that you might not see on another. So, original top here, there is some slight weather checking here. Again, we do these videos for full transparency. So we want you to know exactly what it is you're receiving. The sport mirrors here. So, so if you remember, it's actually typical of the 1970 Mustang. I bet that would fit right on a 69 or 70 Mach 1. What do you think? So on the inside, you'll see the media lower interior. Let's take this key out so we don't have to listen to that. So we see power windows and power locks. Also an option. This interior, I wish you could touch and feel it. Um, driven this car. And nothing drives like a low mileage land yacht. It's almost like driving your sofa, only better. So I have detailed photos of the trim tag there in the website. Now you'll notice this has split seats with armrests, which is not typical of many of these models. You also have a padded dash in the wood grain trim cruise control here on the steering wheel and it does function properly as does the air conditioning 
This has a three-speed automatic transmission. Manual seats. It has a day and date clock that functions. All the gauges function as well. So you see on the odometer, 32,854 actual miles. So the material on the front seats, absolutely impeccable. And this also has the original front and rear floor mats. In the back they're covered by a plastic vinyl. See the convenience lighting and armrest, padded armrests in the back seat as well. And there's your original mats here. And we have the original in the front as well. We'll go around to the passenger side. Another neat option for this car is a reclining passenger seat. It's hard to do with two hands, but this is the adjuster here. And actually you can lay this seat back. You can see the ashtray. We don't see these in modern cars any longer. This car does have quite a bit of paperwork from service records when it was built and delivered to Michigan. And you can see in the door jams you have the Z-Bart or the rust preventative. Here and here. Which is typical for cars sold north of the Mason-Dixon line. So under the hood, now this 351 Windsor, it's had a couple minor tasteful upgrades. You'll see the polished aluminum valve covers and Edelbrock intake with four barrel carburetor, which you wouldn't believe what a difference it makes. Some service items uh, recently undertaken, the air conditioning compressor, master cylinder uh, upgraded. And again, it functions absolutely flawlessly. The original valve covers are included with the car. They're in the trunk. You'll see those just momentarily. We'll fire it up here. I saw you pump the gas. It's not necessary. Without any hesitation. You see the cruise control linkage. Ignition module, it's first year electronic ignition module, Thunderbird. Again, I can't express how well this car drives. You can hear the slight rumble here in the back of the exhaust. per gallon you'll expect to receive in this car, maybe less now with the four barrel. I like it when I see original paint dobs on body panels. Gives me that extra level of confidence. So no rust that I can see anywhere. Here's a couple of the original parts. Uh, valve covers and other odds and ends is it extra cap for your wheels. It looks like a thermostat and a couple other odds and ends. This trunk matting, I don't believe that's original by any stretch. However, you can see again how beautifully clean she is. you've enjoyed this walk around video of a beautiful 1979 Ford Thunderbird. Here at Auto World of Conway where you can always expect good cars for good people.